2020 was the year of coasters, but as we all know, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas. Okay, but honestly, as of March 2020, basically all the parks had closed and revenue had dropped. Because of this, most of the parks pushed back their additions to 2021. And some parks, aka the weird ones, pushed it back their additions to this year. These rides were supposed to have been two years ago. <sighs> okay, okay, but I get this. It's all about money and attendance, cool. But what? But if you watched my earlier video on VelociCoaster, you know that some parks, like Universal Studios, took advantage and got their new projects done early. But there's still one question. What's next? Internationally, Intamin has taken the coaster industry by storm with stuff like Terran. But then in 2019, in the epic new addition to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, that narrator was right. It was epic and almost too epic. At that, the wait times clocked in at 10 hours on opening day. But wait, Universal Studios is making a new theme park. Epic Universe. In the corner, you see something that looks like West Coast Racers. But it's not in a land. It's in between two lands. So what could this be themed to? Sure, I could blabble on about that for days, but I think that's a theory for another day. But here's the thing, it's yellow and white. Wait a minute, really? Really Universal? Okay, but honestly, I don't think these are the colors. It's just a drawing to just show what they could be doing. Um, like, you know, maybe it's just reference. But boy, do I hope not, because that would go viral. But here's the thing. West Coast Racers was built by Premier Rides, and I don't think Universal even knows what Premier Rides is. But this is where Velocicoaster comes in. They could put it into me! After the success of Hagrid's and Velocicoaster, why not keep the chain moving? And that's why I believe Universal Studios will be getting a fourth launch coaster, this time at Epic Universe. But wait, it's not gonna be a normal coaster. Intamin has been making a model that's pretty cool. A 500 foot Giga Splash! Woo, baby! No, I'm just kidding. They're gonna be getting an Intamin Hot Rod, I believe. Because like I said, they just need to keep the chain going. Plus, because it's not in the zone, like I mentioned earlier, it's between two lands, so I believe they could theme it to racing and go with the name Hot Racer. So, there you have it. If you've made it this far, remember to like and subscribe. This is Will, and I'll yes. see you next time. Subscribe. Have a good one, everybody. But honestly, 2022!